Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, we have just discussed about the various navigation shortcuts that are essential in the Excel. Now today, we will be discussing about a beautiful tool in the Excel that is Format Painter. So there's a beautiful tool in the Excel that is Format Painter. So where is this Format Painter? If you observe the Home tab, under the clipboard section, you have this paint brush type. So when you click on that, that is a format painter option. So this is a format painter. See, this is the icon. This brush, which is in the clipboard section, this is a format painter option. Now today we will discuss about what are the uses of those format painter options and how to use that particular tool in the Microsoft Excel. Before that, I would suggest all my viewers to set the quality to higher picture quality so that you can clearly observe my complete video and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch the full lecture and whatever the videos I upload in the future. Okay. Now, to explain this particular format painter option, I will just type a word Microsoft. Now just observe, I'll do some basic formatting options which I have thought in video number one. I will give the cell color, I will give the font color, I will do it bold, italic and underline. Now you just observe that I just use some of the, what do you say? tools that are available in the font section and I did some formatting. Now I will even give it middle alignment. Now if you observe, what did I do? I just gave the cell color. I just gave the font color. I just bold my text. I did italic. I did underline. Now I will write something here known as Excel and here I will write it as Word and here I will write it as Power BI. Now, I want to apply the same formatting rules. That means change the cell color, change the font size, font color. So if I have to do it for all these three cells, I have to manually change it. See, I have to do it like this, which will consume my time. If I do like this for all three cells, it will consume my time. So in order to save my time, what I want to do is apply the same formatting options, whatever I put for this Microsoft cell to all these three different cells. So same formatting options, I will be applying to all these three cells. Now how to do that? So in order to do that, we will use this format painter option. Okay. Now first select the cell, which already has the formatting options. Now in this particular worksheet, Microsoft uh, cell already has the formatting options. So I will select that particular cell, click on the format painter once. So if you observe as soon as I click on that, that particular format options get activated. So here it has got highlighted, which means that particular cell or that particular tool is activated. And here you can see that there is a lines moving around your cell. So now what you need to do, select the cell to which you need to apply the format. Now I will apply the format to this particular cell that is Excel cell. Now I will click on that cell. So you can observe that as soon as I click on that, the same formatting options get applied to this particular cell also. See there is both has same background color, same styles, bold style, italic, underline and even the font color is red and center alignment has been applied automatically. So now same thing, even if I have to do it for Power BI, I will select the Microsoft cell, click on the format painter option and click on this particular cell. Again, it will get applied. Next you have word. Okay. Same thing. Select the cell which already has the format options. Click on the format painter and click on the cell to which you need to apply the format. So you can observe that the same format, whatever the Microsoft cell has, all these three cell has the same format painter option. Now, what if I need to apply for certain rows and column? Now for that, let me assume that 
I have some data here ABC okay or else I'll take the previous cell so if you see here in this I have the student admission details okay for 2024 and 25 so here I have the student details of 20 students so now I need to apply the same format to all the 20 students now how to do that go to this particular cell select the cell which you already have the formatting done click on the format painter painter come to the sheet and drag your data and just leave the cursor so what did you observe so once you did that all the data or all the cells which you selected in the range got the same formatting done so this is one more way of doing but what happens here is since this was a continuous data so it is for the continuous data complete uh, data or complete cells within the range got that particular format but what if i have like this so here i have abc here i have der def and here i have fgr and here i have hti so some data i have okay but every time i don't want to select this format painter option so once only if I want to select the format painter option and apply the format to all these particular cells again there is an option for that. So what is that option means select the cell now I will select word cell instead of clicking the format painter option for once click the format painter option for twice very immediately. See I have clicked it twice. So what I can do is I can select as many as cell. I want so that I can apply the format without using the format painter tool or without activating the format painter tool again and again. So what did I do? So I just selected the format painter option once. Click on the activated the format painter tools by clicking twice and just selected the cells that I want to apply the format until and unless I press escape key in my keyboard the format painter option will be activated see it is still activated now here also I can do the same see I am selecting the cells and it is getting the same format has been applied now as soon as I press just observe here this format painter icon as soon as I press escape see it gets deactivated now after that if I click the formatting options will not get applied so this was the use and this was the benefit of format painter options hope you have gained the valuable insights from this video so if you have any doubts you can please let us know in the comment box so that will respond to your doubts as soon as possible so thank you guys for, for watching the video in my next video i'll come back with some more topics and some more tools in the microsoft excel